Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yasser Ahmed. So we will continue looking at spreadsheet functions and in this video, we're going to be looking at lesson 10, which is going to be nested if statements. Please check out the if statements video before you move on to this one, which is a nested if statements, which will include multiple conditions with true statements and then one final false statement. So we have two questions um, that we're going to be looking at um, in a moment. So let's have a look at the first question. So what we need to do is use a nested if statement to output true or false values based on multiple logical tests. Okay, so what do we have before we look at the question? Uh, we have three different taxi services, fast cars, car and street cars, and they all charge a different price um, per mile. I'm just gonna change that to pounds, okay? And for each taxi service, there's a basic charge of five pounds. Now, how do we know which taxi service we're going to be using? So let's read this question here. So use a nested if statement to work out a taxi service and taxi fare. Add a basic fare to the taxi charge uh, per mile times mile. So at some point, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at how many miles to go on traveling for, and that will be multiplied by the charge per mile which will then be added to the basic fare as well. But before we do that, what we need to do is work out a taxi service. Okay, so if miles is less than seven, then we're going to use fast cars. So less than seven, I've got this little uh, table here. Less than seven is going to be from six miles or less, okay? So less than seven is six basically or less. So if that's true, and that's the case, and if it is the case for Ahmed, then they will be traveling in fast cars. I'm just going to write that in here. Okay, so that's the first part. Let's check the next line in this question. Equal to or more than seven on less than 16 miles, then they're going to be using streetcar service. So in this nested if, guys, the first check will be to ch see if it's less than seven. And if it's true, fast cars, but if it's not true, then this is a starting point for the next um, logical test. So it can't be, obviously, uh, it's not less than seven. So it has to start from seven. And what we're checking to see if it's less than 16. So the logical check, uh, logical test will say less than 16. So this will look within this range of cells here. So if C12, which is a cell here, is less than 16, then the taxi service will be street cars. Right, let's look at the last line. More than or equal to 16 miles, then we're going to use Cara. So basically, if it's not less than 16, okay, then doesn't matter what, what the number is, we're going to be using Cara as a taxi service. So let's go ahead and start this. So equals if. So we're checking to see the miles. First of all, it's less than seven. So less than seven. That's your logical test. And if it's true, we're going to say um, fast cars. That's, that's going to be the, the taxi service that will be used. So that's the first part of this little diagram here. So if the mileage is less than seven, um, it falls within this range, then fast cars. Comma, we're not yet at the false because we have another condition to check. If that's not true, we type in again if. And this time, we know, based on the first condition, um, the miles is not less than seven, so six or less. So now what we're going to do is check to see if the miles is less than 16, so 15, all the way down to this point here, which has not been tested uh, tested yet. So if the miles, let's click on C12 again, is less than 16, and if it's true, then streetcars. So that's the logical test. You can see it's bold, comma, and then this is a true statement. Um, let's type in here street cars. Close your speech marks. And now we're at the false. Now at the false, guys, um, we don't need to write a logical test because if taxi service is not fast cars or street cars, then it has to be this. So we just simply write the name of the taxi service that we want for the um, false option. 
And then you close the number of brackets that you've opened. So you've opened up a bracket for the first logical test and the second one. So you, you would normally close with a black one, a black bracket. And let's drag this down. A bit, a bit bigger. So Sarah is gone on streetcars because 13 is not less than 7. So the first condition wasn't true, but it was less than 16. So it fell within this range here. Mohammed traveled 19 miles, which is not less than 7. It's not less than 16. So therefore, he's going to be traveling in Karwa. So let me just put that there. Right, here comes the tricky part. We now need to work out the taxi fare. Okay, so the first part can be the same. If the miles is less than seven, so I'm just going to change this now. If the miles is less than seven, um, so what we can say is it's going to be C12, which is this cell here, times, if it's less than seven, it's going to be um, fast cars, and it's two pounds times two, okay? So we can put that into a bracket if you wanted to, um, plus the basic charge, which is going to be the contents of this cell here, C9. So that's pretty much what we're going to be doing. But the basic fare, we can add that at the end because all of the taxi services will be using the basic fare. So we don't need to actually have C9 here. Uh, if we're using streetcars, it's going to be C7. So it's not going to be times two. It's going to be actually times what's in the contents of C5. So C five um, if it's street cars it's going to be c7 so let me just copy and paste that here and paste that there and if it's false it's going to be kara which is in c6 just trying to copy it and it's not letting me oh i'll just type it again so C12 times uh, C6. Now, what we're going to be doing is because we want to drag down the formula and we want to maintain these values in these cells, we want to lock it in. We're going to have to lock these cells. And remember, you have to put a dollar sign beforehand. Okay. And then we do the same thing here. Put a dollar sign before the C. I will obviously use my shortcut key to absolute cell reference. Right, so let's do this taxi fare. So equals if, again, if it's fast cars, the miles is less than seven. So if this here is less than seven. If that's true, then what we want to do is multiply this value by this value here so if it's less than seven miles and fast cars we want to lock this and let's move forward so we're not yet at the false we have something else to do so if the miles is not less than seven but it's less than 16 so remember we're starting from this point and we're checking if it's less than 16 so within this range And if that's true, it's going to be this cell here times the streetcars, which is in this cell here. Let's lock. And if it's not fast cars or streetcars, then it has to be Kara. So it's going to be basically this cell here times this cell. And let's lock. I've left out the basic fare for now because I want to see what answer we get. So let me just press enter. And change that to pounds so why is it 10 pounds so it is fast cars and fast cars charges two pounds per mile so it's basically five times two which is 10 pounds now for sarah she her miles is 13 so she's going to be going to street cars since street cars is not less than seven but it's more than seven but less than 16 so it falls within this range 13 so it's going to be 13 times 10, 130. 
If now, if I add the basic affair at the end, so if I click on plus, the basic affair, that should be 15, and the next one should be 135. There we go. And this one was uh, nine pounds because it's basically uh, two times two, which is four plus five, which gives us nine pounds. And this one, um, 19 miles. Okay, so Kawa is five. So that gives us 95 plus the basic, which is um, 100 in the end. Right, we have another question here, which is pretty much the same thing. Um, I won't do this question, but I'll, I'll just go through the, this part here only. Um, use a nested if statement to work out bonus type, A, B, or C. So if goal scored is less than 16, so this is less than 16, we can say bonus A, but I know this is not true. Um, more than or equal to 16 and less than 30, that's still not going to be true. So it's not going to be bonus type B. More than or equal to 30, but uh, so more than or equal to 30, then the gold bonus will be C. So in this example, the gold bonus will be C because um, the first two logical tests are not true. So we're going to use the false value of um, C. And then the final bonus, again, if they've scored less than 16 goals, um, they'll only get 1,000, um, let me change that to pounds, per goal, okay? If that's not true, They've scored more than equal to 16, but less than 30 goals. So within this range here, then they'll get 1,500 uh, for each goal. At the end, then we can add the basic bonus. So it's basically what we did here. Right, guys, I hope the nested if statements make sense. Uh, we're using logical, lots of logical tests. And, if, uh, and how it works, just before I let you guys go, we check the first condition. And if the first condition is true, then we complete the true part of this formula, okay? And if it's not true, we check the second condition. And if that was true, we then output this or ca carry out this calculation, okay? If both of the logical tests are false, then we just output uh, the false part of this um, formula, okay? Or carry out this calculation. Right, thank you for your time. I hope that makes sense um, please join me again in the next video like and share and drop your comments below thank you again for your time bye bye